Hey you guys, it's Marcy Sauter, the Rusty Blonde. Welcome back to my channel today. So, I am doing another project, finishing a project. I am doing my side-by-side -side freezer today. We're gonna organize it and transform it into something amazing. I loved my fridge so much with all of the organizing and all of the containers that I had to do my little freezer. So let's just jump right into it. Okay, so let's give you a before shot of my side-by-side -side freezer. Let's see if the door will stay. Ah, okay. So there it is. It's only 12 inches wide. So I have three standard size cubbies on the door, a smaller cubby there, my ice maker, and then my freezer. So underneath there, it goes up about probably six or eight more inches. This is bad guys. I totally have a shelf holding up stuff. It's so bad. But this is it. This is the, the chaotic disaster I'm working with today. and who knows what is in that drawer. <laughs> All right, you guys, so now I'm going to show you the containers I bought to do my side-by-side. -side. Here is everything that is going to be going into my freezer. First things first, this is the shelf I bought and adjusted up there, and I didn't wanna take it out because it was a pain in the rear to, uh, to take out and redo again. But um, once it's empty, I'll show you kind of how it works if I can. Okay, so these two will be going on one shelf. These two on another shelf. And these, these three were purchased from the container store. I had originally purchased a bundle from um, Amazon, but they did not work out. Um, I had measured at the very top instead of at the well, I ordered at the base and the top of each shelf, <laughs> not taking into consideration that the motor was going to be somewhere and it just happened to be behind my two middle shelves, which, so I had to, anyways, I lost a lot of inches because of that. So I have um, three containers that I'm returning, but these are the made by iDesign. They're six inches wide by 12 inches deep by five and a half high and those are going to be perfect this little one here um like i said i had originally purchased an eight inch bin to go next to this one but um because i had to switch bins and now it's six inches i have a new container coming this is the one that sits in front of the light bulb in the middle of my freezer so i'm able to go wider so i was able to find a six inch wide by five high by 10 deep, cause that's how many inches I had for the light for that. But it won't be here until uh, Tuesday. So anyways, these next four bins are um, 16 inch inches deep. I think they're six inches wide by five inches high and they were able to work on two of my shelves. So basically this is the top shelf, this is the bottom shelf, this is the second to top, and then this is the middle. And I'll show you how I kind of designed my fridge before I bought. So this is the drawing. As you can see here, um, the depth the depth is different on the drawer, that bottom shelf and the top shelf. And then these two center shelves, it's 12 and a half inches deep and 13 and a half inches deep. 
And then this part here is the light, which is only 10 inches deep. So it was pretty complicated, but I was able to do it. I'm super excited to start. We're gonna start by emptying my fridge, emptying my freezer, and then just organizing it. So let's get started. Okay, now that that's empty, now I'm going to go through and purge anything that's unknown or expired, and then I'm going to put everything into like items, so categorizing it. Okay, so I ended up with quite a few bread, tortillas, croutons, a breakfast section, a sweet section. This is pulled pork and homemade barbecue sauce. And then over here, I have yeast and ice packs, chocolate chips, all of my like nuts and stuff, frozen veggies. This is all cheese. Then I have all of our different homemade sauces there, our meat section here, some noodles, tamales, hot pockets, some homemade pizza dough, and um, oh my gosh, biscuits. So now I'm going to play with the bins and figure out how I can get all of this to fit. Now the good thing is, is I have another side-by-side -side freezer in my garage that I can use for anything that I don't want in this little freezer. And on top of that, I have a giant freezer in my garage as well. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. I didn't have much that I needed to throw away, which was good. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and continue.
Okay, here is an up close of what I did to the freezer. So up here we have all of our breads. So those are bagels and a homemade loaf of bread. I have more bread and then breakfast items other than that pretzel. But um, anyways, that worked out good. I had to take the Belgian waffles or French waffles out of their container. Up here I have like my flatbread tacos, pizza dough, tortillas, and then I was able to put this Thomas muffins right there. I want to get another one of these shelves for right here. I feel like this gap is too big and I could use, utilize it for like flat tortillas or bread or things like that. So I will be purchasing another one of those. I have all of our homemade sauces here, all of our different types of cheese. I have the bin of biscuits here. And I might change this. Maybe if I get this shelf here, I can put the biscuits there and then utilize this bin because I did want an ice cream bin for in here. And I have like hash browns and um, tater tots that I will add for in this bin when it gets here. And then down here, I have, I'm gonna use this as a vegetable tray. And then the, this is our meat bin. Again, I have another side-by-side -side freezer in my garage and then a giant freezer. So I'm able to keep this pretty bare if I want to. Um, and this is where all of our nuts, our nutted salad toppings go and um, chocolate chips. Then on the door, I have my yeast. I have a thing of tamales, some stir fry noodles, and then my croutons down there. So hopefully this will work. Again, I think I'm gonna get a shelf, move my biscuits up there, and have this be like our ice cream bin. Um, this leftover I left here because we're gonna be eating it. So anyways, there you have it. This is everything I'm not putting in my freezer, just so you know. Okay, so the ice packs are going to be moved outside. I have two blocks of mozzarella cheese and this thing of feta cheese. I have um, two things of fish that I will be putting out in the large freezer. Leftover hot, po um, not hot pockets, pizza bagel bites, which I'll be putting with the rest of them. This um, half a ham here my um this is a berry pie and then my crust for when i make cheesecake and those are going to go in the outside fridge same with these little chicken nuggets and then my um backup yeast and then this cool whip will be stored with the pie so other than that i think i did pretty good and i do have room for all of this in my side by side freezer out in the garage so i will be doing that in the meantime, I will do an updated video with that shelf and let you know of any changes I make. I went ahead and got the shelf and got my new bins and thought I would just attach the update to the end of this video. So, up there it is the same. I keep my flatbread and pita bread, tortillas, taco shells, things like that. In here is my breakfast food items. Up here I have more breakfast items. I have some bagels, donuts, homemade biscuits that I freeze to keep them fresh. My shelf came in which I moved my Thomas English muffins here and then my giant bag of biscuits. However, I've already cooked those. So right now we're just, we use this shelf to freeze our ice packs. And then this is my ice cream shelf, which this was full and now it's dwindling down because it's so fun having ice cream bins. This is the same with all of our homemade sauces. This is our cheese bin for in here. And then down here I have a potato bin, which are the, oh my gosh, not nuggets. What are those called? tater tots uh, and shredded potatoes and then our potato patties there. Our meat bin which has some ham, some salami, 
ground beef, chorizo, and ground sausage. And then down here, this bin is the same. It has, I do not buy frozen vegetables very often. I basically use these as a backup if I do not have fresh vegetables and can't get to the store. So that is why I only have one bag of frozen veggies at a time. So I tossed it on top of my nut and uh, chocolate chip bin, which has been great. And then this in the door has remained the same. This is one of these stainless steel um, balls that you use for whiskey. It came with one of my husband's bottles. So I decided to put that there. But yeah, it's been really great and I love it. So this has been functioning perfectly and I love this shelf. These are locker shelves and they are awesome. You can find them on Amazon. I will link them down below. It is a lifesaver for that empty space up here and then obviously this space right there. So it's great guys. I love it. I love being this nice and tidy in my freezer. So thank you guys so much for joining me and we'll see you on my next video. Bye.